Hi, this is Sarah with Tenderfoot Village. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make a sitting unicorn gnome. I'll leave a list in the description box below of all the supplies that I used and where I found them. Also, I do want to let you know that I will have kits and patterns available for the unicorn as well as my bumblebee and a mermaid coming soon as well as any other ones that I create. Those will be available on my website at tenderfootvillage.com and on Etsy. To begin, I'm going to show you how I do the horn real quick. I like to place my horn, uh, my styrofoam horn on a skewer. It, I just feel like it helps me hold it in place. You're going to need some Mod Podge and glitter. The important thing to remember is that you need to really make sure you apply the Mod Podge very well so that the glitter does not have gaps, so that it fits in all the spaces. Um, once you do that and get it set up, just set it aside to dry and we'll come back to it later. Next I'm going to grab my pool noodle and a piece of material and I'm just going to begin rolling it up. Um, I want You want to make sure that the material overhangs on both ends a little bit. Once I have the material glued on, I'm going to snip around the ends on one side. Next I'm going to grab these hex nuts that I like to use. These are 5 8 size and I'm going to glue them in place. Once I have the hex nuts glued in, I'm going to begin gluing down the tabs. Once I have the tabs glued down, I'm going to flip the body over and I'm going to glue down the half of this styrofoam ball. Next I'm going to fold up that, or unfold that fabric that was folded down and begin gluing it around the styrofoam ball. Here I have a little bit too much fabric so I'm just trimming down some so there's not so much to have to glue. Next I decided to use these two sticks. I actually took a um, skewer and cut it, but I am going to stick these inside of the foam rollers uh, to help create some stability on the legs. Once you get these sticks inserted where you like them, you're going to want to add a little dot of glue, just a little one, um, so that it really holds them in place and they don't come out later. Now I'm going to begin attaching them to the body and to do this I'm just kind of lining it up with that seam that I created with the material and uh, placing a little dot of glue on the plastic end of the uh, foam roller and holding it in place until it uh, sets up. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one and then once I've done that I'm going to flip it over and secure it to the bottom of the body. At this point I decided to grab a piece of cardboard and I'm going to cut out a circle to go on to the bottom of the body um, and this is so that it will be more flush with the bottom and it won't be wobbly and rock back and forth whenever, um, whenever he's completely finished. Next I'm going to apply material to the legs and the arms. At this point I decided to take the um, pieces that I'm using for the arms and I wanted to have a more finished look on the uh, sleeve. 
so I'm folding those over and hot gluing all the way around to create kind of um, a more finished edge. Now I'm attaching some beads and lace. I decided to attach the lace only to the arms. I'm going to attach the nose and glue down the seam on the body. Next I'm going to apply some black felt to the bottom of these baby shower booties that I got from Dollar Tree. Once the felt is in place, I'm going to trim the felt around the shoe. And then once I've done that, I'm going to actually go back and re-trim the edges just to clean them up just a little bit more. Once I have the felt on both shoes, I'm going to begin um, applying the ribbon. I'm going to cut two equal pieces and you can also use a coordinating fabric. It doesn't have to be ribbon. The key to this is you want it to be about two, two and a half inches uh, wide ribbon or fabric material. And then I always start at the back and work my way all the way around to the back again. And I try to keep the line at the back pretty straight. Once I have the ribbon on there, I'm going to turn the shoe around and apply a dot of glue to the front. And I'm gonna hold that in place for just a minute. And then I'm gonna fold down each side and apply a dot of glue as well. Okay, so once I have the front and sides glued down, then I'm going to move on to the interior of the shoe and I'm just going to kind of apply some glue inside and begin folding down the pieces. I want to make sure that the edge of the ribbon that you can see kind of overhanging, that needs to be either first or last. Another thing I like to do, um, especially if I'm using ribbon at this point, is take the side of my glue gun and not squeeze out any glue but just use the little bit of glue that's on the actual glue gun and kind of smooth out that edge. It really helps it lay down and gives it a, a real clean look. Now I'm going to move on to the shorts and I actually didn't make shorts for the blue gnome, the blue unicorn gnome. I only made them for the pink gnome. So I just take a square piece of material and um, I line the sides with glue first. Um, and you can see I've already folded down my edges that are going to be my top and bottom. Um, I have not glued them down yet. I just folded them over just to kind of give me an idea of what length I was working with. So I glue down both sides first. Um, and one of the important things to note when you're using hot glue to do this, these steps is you're going to want to give it time to set. If you try to manipulate it too soon, you will see the hot glue and pull apart. So I'm doing the same thing with the hat material I've cut out um, and I'm just going up the edge. Once I'm done with this, I am going to set this aside and let it dry as well. One thing I do want to say right here is if you are using hot glue, make sure you fold your um, bottom edge over first instead of going uh, gluing the side first. This will make it a little easier on you. So once again, once I get all the sides glued down, I'm going to set this aside and let it dry before flipping it uh, right side out. Now 
Now I'm going to take my shorts material and begin gluing down and cleaning up the edges. Now I'm going to set the shorts aside and while I'm waiting for them to dry I'm going to go ahead and flip my hat right side out and snip off the little tip and also make sure my edges are clean and if I see anything that needs a little extra help go ahead and add that glue there and then um, let that set up as well. At this point I'm ready to move on to the next step with the shorts um, which is to create the part that makes them look like shorts. So I'm going to add some hot glue to the inside in the shape of a upside down U. And then press the material back together. Next I'm going to take my scissors and cut a little slit and then um, I'm going to glue down the edges where um, I may have missed a little bit of glue. Now I'm ready to attach my beard and I just took this rainbow material, uh, faux fur that I got at Hobby Lobby and um, cut it into a kind of a rectangle and then cut my little upside down triangle out to go around the nose. Um, and so now I'm just going to apply glue to the bottom of the nose and then above the nose to secure it. And I will say if you need extra help in making the beard, I do have other videos that will show you clearly how to make the beard. Now I've decided to apply some lace to the shorts and to do that I am uh, measuring it by wrapping it around the inside. Um, it's still turned uh, right side in so I'm just going to kind of apply it in little dots around the edge of the shorts and I'm going to do the same for both legs and then uh, I'll cut off the excess and flip it right side out and uh, you should be able to see that here in just a second. Now I'm ready to attach the arms and to do this I like to line it up with the edge of the beard um, more towards the front of the body and then I'll apply some hot glue to glue it down and hold it in place. You'll also see me use a little um, elastic rubber band to kind of hold the um, arms in place so they don't move around before I'm ready. I decided to uh, attach some little white flowers to the shoes and I will say looking back on it now um, I do wish that I would have added a color more similar to the flowers that I added on the hat but um, I got these flowers at the Dollar Tree and um, I'm just attaching these little gold sequins that are sticky um, you can get them in the scrapbooking section at Walmart but I just attached one to the the middle to kind of create a shiny little um, centerpiece. Now I'm ready to start putting him together, putting his shorts and hat on um, and his shoes and then kind of looking at him and seeing if there's anything I need to uh, secure down or add to him. And I will say um, I probably, if I, if I was to go back and do this again, I would attach the tail before adding the shorts. Now I want to fill the shoes with hot glue and secure them to the bottom of the legs. And 
At this point, I'm ready to attach the hat to the nose. So I'm just gonna kind of scrunch up that um, hat material and then just apply a dot of glue on the top of his nose and hold it in place for just a minute. And then um, once I do that, I'm ready to attach the horn and the flowers. So for me, in my personal opinion, the horn was too long. So I wanted to go ahead and cut it down to fit better on the size of my gnome. So I just kind of cut it in half and now I'm gonna cut it at an angle so that it will sit um, more straight on the hat and look more natural. Now I'm going to use this wooden skewer to help me. I'm cutting the pointed end. I want to use that pointed end. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is use the pointed end to poke a hole into the styrofoam horn in the center. Um, then I'm going to use it to um, actually poke a hole into the uh, body of the gnome. Now I'm going to make a tiny slit for the skewer to go through with my scissors, just really, really tiny. And I'm using that pointed end of the skewer again, and then uh, just kind of applying the horn to see the placement. Um, once I like the placement, then I'm going to glue that um, skewer into the horn. And again, I want that pointed part to go into the body of the gnome. Now I'm ready to make the ears and I'm going to use this little template that I created. Uh, I just kind of made a rounded triangle and um, I'm going to, I fold it over a piece of felt and I'm using this um, clothespin to help hold it in place. And I'm just going to cut around that and, um, and then I'll have my two ears. I'm going to cut two more pieces exactly the same size uh, using that same template of a coordinating color and then I'm going to cut them down just a little bit smaller. Now I'm ready to glue them together. So first I'm going to glue them back to back or front to front. Um, and then once I've got both of those done, I'm going to fold them in half at the very bottom and glue them, put a glue dot there so that there's kind of a pinchedness to it. And I'm going to use my clothespin to hold it in place so that I can move on to the other one. Now I'm ready to attach my ears and my flowers, so I'm just kind of checking out the position and then I'm going to apply some glue and slip them just barely underneath the horn. Um, this will all be hidden with the flowers. Okay, now we're ready to work on the tail. So I'm using faux fur, a long strip, and I'm just kind of cutting it at an angle uh, on one end. And this is gonna kind of create that, um, the part that meets the back end of the horse. Um, it'll just kind of give it that more full fluffy tailness, if you will. So once I get that cut, um, the important thing to know, you wanna do this kind of inside out, if you will. So you don't want to just fold it, you can fold it over in half and glue it that way. It is easy, but this way takes a little bit more time, but I feel like it creates a more um, finished look, if you will. So I'm, I fold, I, I'm folding it backwards so that the faux fur is on the inside, and I'm very slowly uh, pinching a little piece of it together with hot glue. And here I got a little bit of hot glue on the faux fur, so I'm just cutting it off. So I'm gluing and pinching a little at a time and I'm going to do that all the way down to the end of the material. 
Now that I have the tail glued, I'm going to turn it right side out. And this was a little bit more difficult than um, I thought. So I'm going to use a dowel and kind of help me turn it right side out. So now I'm ready to attach my tail and I'm going to do so by slipping it between that cardboard piece that I put on there and the uh, fabric material. So I'm just kind of trying to maneuver it in and see how I want it and then I'm going to add that hot glue and, and secure it in there. Now I need to cut a hole so that the tail can run through the back of the shorts. Um, so I'm going to snip a little hole and then um, pull the tail through. Once I've done this, I, um, I wanted it to look a little more finished on the back. So I created a little bow and hot glued it on the top of the tail. that is how I make my unicorn gnome. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you think or if you have any questions. I read all my comments so I'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have. Thanks again and I look forward to seeing your unicorn gnomes.